Greetings, dear friends. I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Opel Corsa C. There were a lot of engines for a small Opel, as many as 16 pieces, but in practice the choice comes down to the 3-cylinder 1.0-liter Z10XE, Z10XEP and the most common 4-cylinder 1.2-liter Z12XE, Z12XEP. In practice, there are two more types of 1.4-liter engines and they are significantly different, and very rarely the GSI version with the 1.8 engine. Purely theoretically, you can also find an A12 1.6 powered by natural gas from Germany and several types of turbo diesels and the powerful 1.7 liters were also installed on the Corsa. It naturally aspired 1.3, but we will consider only what is found more or less massively. Motors after installing with distributed injectors also have an expensive ignition module, one for all cylinders, and in this case it is better to monitor the candles carefully. The replacement price is high and it is difficult to repair. Motor injection engines do not have such electrical problems before installing. The simple system doesn't break at all up to space runs, although of course the power of the motor is with it noticeably less. The 1.0 and 1.2 liter engines of the new series are based on an extremely small cylinder block with a diamond chain drive. They differ from each other mainly only in the number of cylinders. Moreover, the 3 cylinder even doesn't have a balance shaft to simplify the design as much as possible, so do not be surprised at the vibrations. The main drawback is the timing chain itself. The resource turned out to be no more than that of the original belt and the replacement price is about twice as high. Fortunately, you do not need to remove the motor for any work, there is enough space under the hood, with the margin you can even put a 2.2 motor from Vector C here, so in any case the price of work is less than 10,000 rubles. But the resource of the chains is difficult to predict, a set can run from 60 to 150,000 km, and if the morning knocks and clanks are ignored, the chain easily slips, and the valves inevitably bend. It can only be noted that with the maximum oil level and the obligatory slide warming up in the morning, wear is usually less. A weak oil pump can also fail. It is very compact and with the slightest wear of the cover, it loses pressure greatly. The intake manifold becomes very dirty, its damper system wedges and sometimes falls apart with red residues entering the cylinders. The thermostat needs to be replaced at least once every 50,000 km and a leakage of it leads to severe underheating. Otherwise, this is a very simple and successful motor motor with a cast iron block, four well blocks heads, direct well drive and a reinforcing aluminum plate at the bottom. Quite a sturdy design. It was not for nothing that later, on the basis of this engine, they made a turbocharged 1.4 for the Astra G. From the nuances of operation, perhaps the amazing dislike of the engine to the original oil from GM with a viscosity of 5W30. If you use it in the hope of perfect compatibility, the effect will be exactly the opposite. The oil doesn't withstand the stated service intervals poorly and loses its properties much earlier than after 15,000 km. Plus, it cokes remarkably at high temperatures and forms carbon deposits and varnish on pistons, rings and valves. Generally not recommended. The situation is complicated by an oil filter without full proof. The services managed to put the filter element incorrectly and leave the engine without oil pressure and weak heating. The resource of the piston group is usually more than 200 to 150,000 km, which is not such a bad result for a fairly cheap design, and four cylinder engines can go even more with careful operation. There were copies with runs of 400 plus. Motors 1.4 are different. After installing only the under the hood of the Corsa, the Z11 Z14 XEP was registered. Essentially similar to the four cylinder 1.2, it differs only in volume and a slightly larger resource of the piston group and chains due to lower operating speeds. But before the restyling, another engine was installed, the Z14 XE. Despite only one letter of the name difference, the engine is from a completely different era. The old 1.4 differs in a completely different cylinder block, timing belt drive and the presence of EGR. The motor belongs to the same series as the 1.8 Z11 XE on the GSI version and different versions of the 1.6 engine on the Astra and Vectra until 2004. A very reliable design has a piston group resource even slightly higher than that of Newbies, a cheap and reliable timing belt, and in general a minimum number of problems, unless the cylinder head resource could be even higher. As a standard, after 200,000 km, the wear of the well guides leads to an increase in oil consumption and coking of the piston rings. However, many 1.2 just do not live up to this moment. The presence of EGR with self-diagnostic greatly increases the amount of carbon deposits in the intake manifold and at the same time complicates its simple shutdown. Cleaning the manifold, even with a working well, should take place every 60,000 runs, approximately every time the timing belt is replaced, otherwise the flaps will simply stop moving. The crankcase ventilation system is also not one of the most successful designs. 
It is very simple and oil leaks from the engine are common. Especially you need to monitor the oil seals of the front cover of the engine and do not forget to change them when replacing the timing. An additional pleasant moment for the owners of such an engine is the price of spare parts for it. They are cheaper than that for a newer series, so that even with the high mileage and age, such a motor remains attractive. Well, swap for 1.8 in the old block is simpler than ever. Take out the old motor, put the new 1.8 Z18XE, Y18XE, as they say, he bought. Well, pray at the manual transmission with a stand. Stock 1.8 is rare, but by itself it is widespread on other Opel cars. In fact, it doesn't differ from the 1.4 of the early series, the block is slightly changed and the working volume is larger. With it you can find not only the problematic F17 manual transmission, but also the much stronger F23, which is the advantage of the original GSI versions of the course. On this information about the problems of the Opel Corsa C exhausted. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I am waiting for you in the comments.